You had a nice place, you bet. Even more than scalpels and forceps, the most important tools for a surgeon are the hands. Today we're going to do an aortic valve replacement. And on this day, four hands are better than two. All right, honey, this is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. Dr. Sophia Roberts is a second year Washington University resident. Okay, now here's the way you do this. Training to become a cardiothoracic surgeon. Less than 5% of heart surgeons are women, but making this even more unique is that the doctor she's assisting today I can have another one. Coming up. is her dad. And this is a pretty complicated uh, case, but she, uh, if I say so myself, uh, <laughs> she did a really good job. Following in her father's footsteps began at an early age. Her path cemented after dinners out with the family. Inevitably, some family would come up to our table and say, oh, Dr. Roberts, you don't remember me, but you know, you operated on my mother and gave her 10 extra years with us. Um, or you operated on me, and now I'm here with my family. And that, that had a big impact on me as a kid. From then on, she was a girl who preferred scrubs to skirts. We got her this little uh, game called Operation. When she was about four. My sister Beth uh, said, you know, she was really good at that. <laughs> Actually, oh no. Oh my God. I've got her one. Let's just see. <laughs> that's, that's awful. <laughs> oh, she did it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hey, here's one thing you can see here. Though she was raised in South Florida, training at Washington University was always the dream. That's, that's pretty normal. Her mom is from Belleville, so she'd visit the area often. My grandmother had surgery here. My grandfather has been hospitalized here. It's a, it's a place that I would want my family members to go to. Um, so to me, growing up, this was always kind of like you know, the pinnacle of medicine. After graduating from Yale and Ohio State University College of Medicine, <laughs> she arrived in June of 2020. A year later, her dad would follow in her footsteps. Her left ventricle was terrible. And, After 30 uh, years as a cardiac surgeon in Florida and West Virginia, he texted with the news that he received an offer to work for Washington University's renowned heart and vascular program. My immediate response was, yes, like you have to do this. Trust me, if, if she's like, you know, oh, please don't do that, I, I wouldn't have come. Take your daughter to work day wasn't just one day a year when Sophia was younger. She'd go with dad to the hospital all the time. Now here, here's the way you do this. They're still going to the hospital, only now it's to perform surgery together. The thing I'm really looking forward to is this will be the first of many. One thing you do, okay, you can feel it here. Following dad's example and his advice. It's mostly just you have to love what you do, and what you do needs to sustain you for an entire career. Hey, okay, you did a great job. Huh? Dr. Roberts and Dr. Roberts, their family business is healing. I got to tell you, I mean, she came in like a champ.